Elon Musk is back into the business of bringing what might seem impossible into reality. This time around, he is onto something massive and groundbreaking, which could change the pattern and way of human existence. Using his company Neuralink, Musk has developed a technology that allows us to manipulate the deficiency of an individual through the use of a computer. This promises to be revolutionary. After a series of animal testing, the Neuralink has finally reached a stage where it is now being tested on humans. How is this possible? What happened during testing? Does this have an impact on the human populace? Watch this video to find out. Hello guys, this is Posh Future and we bring you amazing content from the world of science and technology. Make sure you like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to our channel for similar videos like this. For some time now, there have been reports circulating about Elon Musk creating a chip that will be implanted into the human brain to operate encephalopathy. This means that people with paralysis could easily operate their phones and computer directly with their brains. Of course, Neuralink is not only limited to this. It can also be used to draw pictures, take photographs and do other activities. Now, this in itself is quite fascinating and Elon Musk's involvement makes this feat more fascinating. The world is watching, waiting with bated breath to see what Musk has to offer this time around. I promise you are not going to be disappointed. But wait, to understand how the Neuralink works, it is best to understand the science behind the human brain. The human brain comprises neurons that send signals to cells in the body, including muscles, nerves, glands, and other neuron cells. Now, every neuron is divided into three parts, namely the dendrite, the soma, and the axon. Each of these parts has its own unique function they perform. The dendrite performs the function of receiving signals, the soma processes the signals received, and the axon transmits the signals to other cells. The neurons in the brain are connected to each other by the synapses, which release chemical substances called neurotransmitters. These chemical substances are sent to another neuron cell's dendrite, causing a flow of current across the neurons in the brain. The Neuralink comes in at this stage. The electrodes that are part of the Neuralink are there to read various electric signals produced by several neurons in the brain. These signals are later displayed in form of action or movement. The Neuralink chip contains a number of insulated wires which is planted into the human brain during a surgical procedure carried out by neurosurgeons making use of robotics. These chips are planted directly in the brain because when placed in the brain, they won't detect signals produced in the brain accurately. Now, we all know that accuracy is very key in making use of the Neuralink. What's more interesting is the Neuralink's ability to charge wirelessly. So what do we stand to gain from the Neuralink? How does it affect the human populace? During Elon Musk's head interview with Chris Anderson, he was quick to note that the Neuralink might be able to address morbid obesity with emphasis placed on solving brain and spinal injuries within the next decade. In his words, we are working on bridging broken links between the human brain and body. This simply means that patients with certain medical conditions still stand a chance to carry out some day-to-day -day activities. Having the Neuralink chip might as well help individuals who have suffered from spinal cord injuries walk again. Besides, people unable to articulate audible words would benefit from the Neuralink ability to read signals in their brain and send them to a smartphone that translates them into audible words. Neuralink was established in 2016 by Elon Musk. Since then, the company has come a long way in achieving its age-long dream of bridging broken links between the human brain and body. The Neuralink ship has been tested in at least 19 different species of animals with a recorded rate of success. Previous videos released by the company show the performance of the Neuralink in animals. In 2020, we saw a demonstration with three pigs named Joyce, Gertrude and Dorothy. However, Gertrude had the limelight on her as she had a coin-sized computer chip strategically placed in her brain. While she ate and sniffed straws, the activity showed up on a graph tracking her neural activity. The processor in her brain sent wireless signals indicating neural activity in her snout while she searched for food. Another specimen Elon Musk had the chip tested on was a nine-year-old macaque monkey called Pager. Pager had not one but two chips planted in his brain. 
In a 23-minute video released by Neuralink, Pedro was seen playing Pong on a system, while the Link devices depicted his neuron activities while he interacted on the computer. The data gotten was folded into a data algorithm to predict pager hand movements. Eventually, Pager was able to move the cursor to where he wanted without making use of the computer joystick, but with his thoughts. Time and time again, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed the chip's safety, reliability, and ability to be extracted safely. In fact, the installation of the neural link will be carried out in a smooth and swift procedure by a surgical robot which Musk has compared to a state-of-the-art computer numerical control CNC machine. The estimated time for the whole procedure should not exceed an hour, and the only indication on the surgical site would be a tiny scar. The Neuralink chip is about the size of a large coin that could be concealed under the hair with ease. After the conclusion of animal testing, Elon Musk moves on to the next stage of human testing, and it is amazing many individuals share Elon Musk's dream of the Neuralink. In fact, as we can recall, on December 6th, a Twitter user named Jeremy Jodkins wrote to Elon Musk. His tweet read, I seriously hope he gets to a point where Neuralink could help my husband. The part of his brain that is dead needs to be replaced. In response, Musk tweeted, Replacing faulty, missing neurons with a circuit is the right way to think above it. Many problems can be solved just by bridging signals between existing neurons. Progress will accelerate when we have devices in humans next year. In a separate tweet dated the same day, Elon Musk tweeted, I am definitely not saying that we can for sure do this, but I am increasingly confident that it is possible. Mind you, Neuralink is not a new concept to have existed in the neurological world. There has been years of research poured into the academic field of the brain-computer interface, and many feats which Elon Musk hopes to achieve with the Neuralink have been confirmed in academic studies. However, the Neuralink holds the leverage of advanced material science, automation and chip technology. Musk hopes to use this leverage in human testing. Neuralink is developing an iOS app that will be connected to the implanted chips through Bluetooth. The intended app aids users in exercises that train them on controlling their iPhones with their thoughts. After some time of practice and familiarization with the app, users should be able to telepathically control multiple devices including a keyboard or game console. Well, if Neuralink is truly worth the hype it has been receiving so far, the chip has a higher level of communicating at a higher bandwidth than traditional human speech. Within the next decade, humans should be skilled in decoding electric impulses within our neurons. No doubt, getting the Neuralink successfully installed in an individual is a worthy landmark in the science of neurology. Thank you for watching this video and let us know your expectations of the Neuralink in the comment section below.